On this morning's Health Watch, giving blood, no donors required. A British scientist has created blood in his lab and will soon be testing it on volunteers. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer reports. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. In surgery, on cancer wards, and on America's battlefields, blood transfusions save lives. But in the U.S., demand often exceeds supply. And elsewhere, especially in the developing world, there's a real chance the blood could be contaminated with diseases like AIDS or hepatitis C. Enter Dr. Mark Turner, a cell biologist from Scotland who's received a multi-million dollar research grant to make blood in his lab from human stem cells. These cells are being generated from human embryonic stem cells, which themselves are generated from uh, three to five day old human embryos. Stem cells can be coaxed, theoretically, to grow into any human body part. Dr. Turner's team will try to make them grow into O-negative blood. If they're successful, the payoff is huge. What would be phenomenal would be if we could create infection-free blood that is laboratory generated. We'll know that Martin King's post-cancer treatment means he needs blood every three weeks. If there's a, a way to make sure that that blood supply never goes down, that would be extremely helpful. Stem cell blood will probably not be available widely for transfusions for a decade. For millions around the world, though, it can't come soon enough. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.